so hi there everyone my name is Raj and today we are going to add sweet alert javascript plugin to our website okay just visit to sweetalert.org go to guides tab and here you can see that all installation step so we are using cdn link for enabling sweet alert in our website just copy that cdn link or you can copy the particular URL to get the source code of it here you can see that all source code appear here so you uh, you are feel free to copy and paste it in your uh, folder and uh, rename it by suitala.win.css so go to the bracket and here you can see that I am already created one simple form with the action sweetalert.php same page and with the method post uh, we are created name text box email text box and address text box first of all we need to add the sweetalert javascript into our website we are added in head tag to source sweetalert we are stored in Sweet alert folder and here sweet alert dot main dot js. Okay, Let's save it. We are ready to go. And after that, we are created one form where uh, where we are going to fetch all the input fields and store in our form. I am already done some part of PHP so I am discuss with you ok ok yeah, this function if is set when whenever this submit button is click with the name submit it will go to this form ok submit if is set okay we are created a we are created name variable email address and address variable okay and uh, getting value with super global variable post with the attribute name this name equal to that particular attribute name okay and done with that so uh, next step we are connecting to the database with the database okay so for that we are using mysql connect function here we are pass localhost root localhost is host name in in our case we are using xamp server for localhost okay then username then password by default it will blank it is blank okay and database example here I can show. Okay, I'll show it. Here we are uh, created database example. Here we are just created one table. Table name is swell S W L. Okay, with uh, ID, name, email address, and address tables. Sorry, columns. Okay, we are created one query for inserting. This is a simple SQL statement. Insert into table name. Table name. This table name. Okay. Table name. This is column name of that database. Okay. This name, email address, and address. Okay. And values. Uh, values we are fetching from these variables. This three. This name email address address variable okay same for query run we are using uh, mysql query for running that query uh, where we are passing connection variable yep this is and query this query okay then move to the next part if we are uh, first of all checking if not query run 
if not query run then echoing message echo error in insertion that is insertion okay if we are not getting any error in insertion we are going to else what here here uh, the main uh, pop-up message or pop-up message or sweet alert come into play okay just close it okay php okay why i'm closing this i'll show you i'll show you just okay just go again back to the switch alert bar and go down just copy that particular method or function here and paste it here when we are not uh, when we are not closing that this show error or switch alert enabling this is a script okay this is a script so just open script tag and closed after the SWL function the sweet alert function I'll uh, explain in detail if this query is not run then error in insertion this message is shown if this query is run successfully and we are uh, entering these values name email address and address into database then we are getting this successful message okay done with okay we are forgot that closing the reset function we are finally last okay save it go to your where you are stored your uh, sweetalert.php file just refresh it okay try for dummy data any message okay just hit submit here you can see that this sweet alert pop up come okay make sure it will enter the database so just refresh that okay you, you can see that this uh, recently updated information or recently entered information shown in database okay yes this will it will work correctly uh, i am revise again first of all uh, just uh, go to the sweetalert.com okay and just copy the cdn link or source code okay then back to the in our case we are uh, copy the source code and include in red tag okay before before we are use the sweet alert function this is a basic php script for insertion and if this uh, query run is not successful we are getting the message is this error insertion okay else we are uh, splitting the php start here and here and starting the uh, pop-up message function swl function in script tag this is a script okay and after that we are splitting the php and and else end and is set function is end in our button is click is function is star 
uh, why we are using is set function because uh, if we are not set uh, that particular uh, if the, this text box is not enter any uh, message and whenever we click is set function this pop up message is come So finally, thank you.